That was just a 500 million parameter vision model in action which can turn your laptop into a surveillance system that rivals corporate security setup. No cloud, no subscription fees, just pure local AI power. Here's the thing most people don't realize. While everyone's obsessing over ChatGPT and DeepSeek, there's this tiny model called Small VLM that's quietly revolutionizing computer vision. It runs on almost any hardware, processes video, and can identify, track, and analyze everything happening in your camera feed in real time. But here's where it gets interesting. We are not just building a basic motion detector, we are creating something that understands context. See, traditional security cameras are dumb. They record everything and hope you'll sort through hours of footage later. Our AI system, it knows the difference between your cat jumping on the counter and an actual intruder. It can spot unusual behavior patterns, recognize objects and even detect when something's out of place in your room. Today, I am walking you through the exact setup I'll use to monitor my home. We'll start with the model installation, then dive into the camera integration and by the end, you'll have a system that sends you smart alerts only when something actually matters. But first let me show you what this looks like in action. The crazy part, this entire system uses less processing power than streaming a Netflix show. First thing you need to understand, small VLM isn't your typical AI model. While GPT-4 Vision needs massive cloud infrastructure, this little beast runs locally on your hardware you probably already own. We'll be using the 500 million parameter version of the model. This is a model developed by Hugging Face team itself. It's a very efficient multimodal model and if you see, we have benchmark across the different versions of this model and you see that even when we move from 2.2 billion to 500 million parameters the performance level doesn't decrease a lot this 500 million version of the model if we go to files and version we can see the the model file is around 1 gb which should be able to run on any onboard graphics and if you have a dedicated graphic card, it would run really fast. And I'll be testing it with my RTX 3060. Instead of developing this solution from scratch, we'll be using this repository, which is a simple demo utilizing this model. And we'll be cloning this repository. Let's open our VS code and let's click on clone git repository and we'll paste the repositories link. It is asking for a repository destination. Let's create a new folder, small VLM surveillance app uh, now we have it here let's open the index.html file so this is the client app now we'll have to run our server let's move to the next step now this solution requires llama.cpp to run our model llama.cpp is a very popular way to run any ai model locally we had covered olama in our previous videos but llama.cpp is quite popular among devs to quickly start with this so we'll go to the quick start section and then we'll click on this link so now this page lists the ways to install llama.cpp on various operating systems now depending on your operating system you can select the appropriate method we are running on windows so we'll be using the winget method we'll just copy this command and then we'll run our powershell once you have powershell open just copy and paste this command and we had already installed llama.cpp earlier so it is just upgrading the package for me and if you're installing it for the first time, it will install the package for you. It's been updated successfully for me. Now, once you have llama.cpp installed, we move to the next step. You can directly run this command, which basically is asking llama.cpp to download and run the small VLM model. If model is already downloaded, it will directly run the model. But if it is not downloaded, llama.cpp will download the model for us let's run it you can see it has downloaded the model and it is now running on our local ip which is 127.001 on 8080 port now we have our client app which is the html file now you can see there are several options here which you can change you, you can change the server path but it is correct for us then you can give any instruction you can just ask it to tell what do you see and then finally we have this option to change 
the interval between two requests it is the gap between the two simultaneous requests so let's keep it to 500 milliseconds and let's see what happens i'll click on start now you can see the process has started now it will keep on sending the image now every 500 millisecond it is sending a request to our server and it is returning the response so you can see it is describing the image which is a man with a beard is sitting in front of a microphone and it is giving all the details and if you go to your powershell window you will see the requests which are being sent to the model and you can see it is replying within milliseconds so it is quite fast it is replying within 500 milliseconds sometimes in 400 something milliseconds i feel that this interval between two requests is too less for this demo because it keeps on depicting the scene again and again before i could read the response so let's change it to two seconds and then let's click on start now let's test this with some objects and let's see if it is able to identify the objects that we show. Let me remove the mic from the picture. So the two second interval is also not optimal. So let's try to edit this drop down itself in the HTML. Let's go to VS Code. Now we have this section where we have the drop down options so we'll add another option for five seconds we'll change it to 500 milliseconds and we'll change this to five seconds and then we'll save it we'll go to browser and refresh it now we have this five second option so now let's click on start now it will run the request every five seconds which is much better to test different objects I'll remove the mic so that the objects that we go to the model is clearly visible in the text. So you can see it is able to identify the different objects, remote control, book, laptop. Now this is a good demo of the model, but let's try to build something interesting. Let's see if we can build a surveillance system, which is able to detect objects like weapons or guns and then alert us. So what we'll do is we'll go to VS code and we'll use our GitHub agent to make changes to this. So we'll just click on open chat. We'll ensure that we are in agent mode and then for add context add our index.html to the context now you can see that index.html is available in our context we'll ask our github agent to convert this into a surveillance app whenever a suspicious object like knife or a gun is detected and it starts an alarm like animation with alarm sound as well and we have selected Claude Sonnet as our model and let's see what it does now github copilot was recently made free by microsoft but it allows only limited usage in free tier you can use almost 50 messages per month which is not ideal for actual development but for our demo purposes it should suffice so you can see it has started editing our index.html sometimes the free version of github is quite slow but at times i've seen it's really fast it depends on the load on the server Okay, now it's modifying the JavaScript code. It has edited the HTML part and CSS part. It has done all the changes. So we'll click on keep and now let's refresh our page. So you can see uh, it has even changed the instructions. Let's test it. I'll again click, I'll select five seconds and I'll click on start the microphone from here and let's try with a knife. So you can see it was able to detect it and you can see our uh, alarm system is working and it has done minimal changes to our existing application and it is able to detect the knife as well. It's not looking that good. It is not looking like a futuristic surveillance system. So let's make some UI changes. Let's ask it to make more futuristic. So I'll ask it to make the UI futuristic and I've asked it 
to add elements of neon and 3d animation and let's see what it does with the ui it's working on the style and layout so it's saying that it will enhance the ui with a futuristic cyberpunk style it is finished making the changes now we'll just click on keep and let's refresh our page and this is the updated ui and it looks so awesome it has this 3d hover effect when i move my cursor over the video feed it has all the neon effects now let's test it we'll select five seconds and then we'll click on start even the start button glows when we hover over it and let's click on start okay so this is really good uh, the alarm system is looking quite good and now let's check the javascript code how it is working so so you can see we have this send chat completion request where we are sending our request to the model and it follows the open ai chat convention here you can see we are sending the json request and here we send the text as well as the image url at every five second this request is sent by the browser asynchronously and then uh, we have this function to initialize the camera and then this function captures the images at every interval that we have selected and then this is the trigger alarm function then we have stop alarm function and then we have this send data function which triggers the request it is the most important one where we have the entire logic written so you can see so this array holds the trigger keywords for example we have knife gun weapon blade firearm we can add many more trigger words here as well so whenever the llm finds these kinds of objects our alarm gets triggered and then we have this function which gets triggered on start and stop buttons of the ui and then we have the event listener function now we and then you can build on this app and you can ask lot to develop a web application out of it and you can even send an email to yourself when this gets triggered this was a small video showcasing how small ai models can be utilized to create powerful surveillance systems quickly and i'll be trying this model with my home surveillance and let's see how it performs and if you like this video please do subscribe most of you come here watch my videos but don't subscribe to keep me motivated to create and upload more such videos, please do subscribe.